Who are you? What are you doing? I'm I'm Jenny Soon. I'm the producer, and supposedly I get. I get all the blame for this movie uh, while you get right. all the it's, acclaim. It's, it's all her fault, you know. I take all the credit. I'm Chris Doyle. Um, I took over from everything that Jenny gave us and that all the people involved in the film, which is called Hong Kong Trilogy, um, all the astonishing personal, political, poetic ideas that they gave us, and I turned it into a kind of a structure, which... I guess you call is a an outline or a script some people would call it then I allowed myself to direct myself as cinematographer so yeah um, everything you see on the screen visually is my fault everything that came to make it on the screen is is Jenny and our collaborators fault so the interesting thing about this film is in some countries it's seen as a, a as a fiction as a narrative film as a, as a film about Hong Kong um, using visual metaphors and blah, blah, blah. Here it's being regarded as a documentary. Uh, in the next film festival, we don't know what it's going to be called. <laughs> so I think it's a great pleasure for us to, to make this, I guess you'd say, in some terms, a crossover film, a film that, 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 that maybe straddles uh, that, that wonderful space between illusion and memory between between um, what is perceived and what is celebrated. Um, and I think a lot of films, and a lot of films I'm sure in this festival, and a lot of films that I've seen recently that are so-called documentaries are doing that. That the visual energy of documentary films now has, has just burst out of, out of the seams. It's, it's, it's just has exploded, as have animated films. And I think the reason that's happening is that there's there's a huge gap between what people do with their iPhones, what you see on YouTube, and what Hollywood and all those, you know, multi-million, you know, uh, Marvel Comics bullshit kind of films and all their franchises do. So there's this huge gap between YouTube and Fast and Furious number 35. And we hope that we're doing a little bit to try and fill that gap. And I think the festival is encouraging that. I mean, from my personal experience, just being back here in Copenhagen at CPH Docs and come, you know, because I was here last year pitching the film, um, and it's a, it's an incredible honor to come back because for, you know, I spent half a year raising money for this film, and when I was here, it was the first time I really felt like the strangeness of what we were doing and... Um, was was being embraced. Um, it's really cool to come back with the film now that it's done. Thank you.